Right then, quick update on the old uh, reaser cutter screws. Now, yellow chopper, oh god, I had this practice as well. Yellow chopper, tropalized. Yellow tropalized stuff, that's what's on it. Still don't know what it is yet, but well, we're getting there, so someday we might actually find out. Now, it's the setting of these screws to the wood down here. Now I had problems last time with splitting wood, but so was the Turbo Gold as well. It was Turbo Gold, Turbo 2, sorry, it was doing it as well. However, we'll skip out of this. What we found is this screw doesn't actually like setting completely level with the wood. Well, with some woods, not with them all. We've had a bit of playing, a bit of practice. So anyway, we went back to the box and we read. And uh, what he says says about this is, nothing else without splitting under the head are both ribs and tucks, enabling the screw to set flush and tight without surface damage. It doesn't actually really say level. This is the bit that's been getting to us. And the more we try pushing it level, we're actually damaging the wood. As I said, some wood it does. But here's a bit, a bit of a cheat. I asked my sons, my dad, what do you think about these screws here? There's a little thing, there it is. These pictures here, what they say is, one's theirs, which is no damage at all, then they show you the one damaged. The point is, those screws aren't right in either, but that picture there clearly shows it actually level. And as I said, some of the woods, it did go level with that we were playing with. So anyway, we're going to have a bit of a play today to show you what I mean. And I'll talk through through why it doesn't like getting set flush down. We're out of the box, we don't need that. Right, that garbage gone. Right then. Uh, I'll just show you this one here getting pushed in. What happens? The Milwaukee is in its lowest torque setting. It's in screwdriver, it's in speed 2, so we'll just shove this in and watch it stop. Now normally, this Milwaukee combi here will push a normal 50 by 5 screw in. No problem at all. There we go, straight in. Massive pluck, but it breaks off. Now that is something to be said. The plucks do usually break off. Handy actually has a little tiny split in it as well. <laughs> some machine knee screws are. Right then, I'm gonna bring you around now and I'll show you some things. Okay then. Now, there is that screw I just put in. As you can see, it actually went in and it wants to sit just down there. Those tucks, as they call them, they also act as a little bit of a break as well as it's going in to stop it. Believe it or not, these screws don't really like going down further. Now, I will just try and push it in a little bit further. Let's not stop setting that one, because we were having a bit of play today again. Nah, not going to do it. Right? So, okay, I'll come across here. And I'll show you what exactly I actually mean here. Uh, have we got the camera just right? Yeah, about there. Right. Here's their screw looking out for the top angle. And I know this does slightly work. Right. Under the head here, there is your tucks, if you like, as they call them. Is it tucks they call them? I should have thrown the box away. But they're actually a flat edge that runs all the way round the screw with the little bits that stick up. These are kind of acting like a little bit of break and unbreaking the wood as well at the same time. So when you try pushing it further under, it seems to start ripping out the wood as well. And of course it's got this, it is a flat rim ridge all the way round. Now Sparx has a similar type of idea on their screw. We'll see if we can see it on the sparks. Let's move to this side. Wait for the bit of the shadow. Sparks have flat bits here on their screws. And what this does is, it doesn't actually remove the wood as such. It sort of smooths it down. But they also have a little tiny lip here. Although it is shaped, you have this little lip here. And that helps them for, for, for this chafing that you get as you go in round the hole. So, what was giving it away from me was when it said board. He said all types of wood, hardwood, softwood, and then the next thing, it does board. Well, 
For board, you really need a screw like this. Stick it in so we can see it. Oh, play ball. You gotta play ball, honey. You gotta stay. You gotta fall over. You gotta fall over, I think. Okay. There. Now, this isn't a pan head. This is a dome head with a built in washer on it round here. And what this does is, when it goes into the wood, it actually holds it flush. And in a way, this is what these things are trying to do around here. Now, I'll put some screws in. I'll show you them going in. I'll use the, the, the Milwaukee Impact driver, and I'll go back, and I'll turn the torque settings up a bit on the Milwaukee, and we'll have a look at this. And I'll try and show you from there. Okay. Oh, I'm not something for six again. This is too tight. That's what the problem is. Wee. Uh -huh. uh -huh. right Leave that there. We'll fall on the floor probably. Right then. What the hell? Oh, it's an empty box. Oh, I've jammed it. Good way you saw the box. Right. Now. Got some screws. Now, see, we turned it off one, didn't we? You know, straight that. One, one, two, three. Right, it's on three now. Um, try to say well, I should bring you down a bit. No, we won't. Right. We'll come up here and try it here. As I say, you get little bits that come up. You usually do clear away quite good. And that was on Torx setting 3. Actually, it did that, that did good. I haven't really practiced with this wood today, actually. This is just some fresh stuff that we had. Now, oh yeah, impact. Right. That's the next bit. So we're going with the impact. Right, we'll come down over here. No, top mode's on. My son was doing something today. Right. There you go. Little plex here and there. See, this it still does it. Fair enough, that one went in a bit further, so we'll try another one. And this time we'll go a bit closer to the edge. How's about that, eh? How's about there, maybe? What do you think? Risk it? Yeah, I'll risk it. Why not? It split that big style there as well with the head. So really and truly, these screws for my money, I think they're a little bit overrated if you ask me. Now I'm trying my best here and I'm getting no results. It does. If you don't set them all the way in, they do a better job. And I'll just prove that again with the Milwaukee Combi, right? Now we rip some of these screws out and try a bit of decking. Right, it's enough. Let's play it again. Okay then, over we come and we'll have a quick look at these screws. Alignment there. Okay then, now we're in. There. There you are. No, who's me thing? Me gadget. There you go. Wet close to the edge, split, and this is decent wood, this as well, this, it's cheap, but it's not that cheap. And there you go, that was done by the uh, hydraulic drive, again, by the hydraulic drive, we'll a bit of clicking, again, hydraulic drive. And these two here, in fact, if anything, I would say, the combi is actually doing a slightly better job. But if you look, yeah, again, it's like splitting up here and here. So... I'm now going to wait, take these screws out and get and I'll get some decking, okay? Okay then, I thought I'd set that this with the camera off, there was no point in leaving it running, it's supposed to be quick. Well, I'll put it with three screws in here in different ways, okay? Oh, there is it. My fault. Well. Oh, top settings back, see what I mean? Very dark. So I'll jump across here, and I'll put one in here. There we go. I'm going to flush them a bit more. There we go, see? Right, uh, next one would go into the center, there. Uh -huh. That's 
to go. Did <laughs> pluck that? That's just a fallout bit, that don't worry about it, have it just fell up. There we go. That's it, that didn't not too bad. Uh where should the other one go? Half I tell you what, we'll just we'll make a mess of this one. We'll sort of make it so it will try and make a mess, see if it does any good. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. I'm leaving that like that, you can see that. Right. <sighs> background again then no oh, good grief we're gonna have a look at this monstrosity mess <laughs> okay then now nah, that'll do it's pretty good okay, can't put this one right okay then first time i went in roughly the same place it should have been with this one right but unfortunately i went in talk center was too high and as i said it reacts different it shot in that was my fault talk setting too high Turned it down at its first top setting where it usually sits. Perfect. Not too bad actually, quite impressed. But look what happens when I went close to the edge there on it. It actually just ripped it apart. No problem at all. You see? So what I'll do is for you, I'll just move this to the side here, turn you back up again. And I'll show you me shoving one in up or two in up closer range. Not using the impact. Okay. Oops, the right wrong mess of that one. Right, name of it. Oh, I'm gonna go hit the wood. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. oh, another one in there. Mm -hmm. And as I say, when it does plex, the plex do usually break off very easy. But they shouldn't really be plicking up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But if you notice, they're wanting to sit prone yet again. Ow! Little sharp bits on them, they plick that up. Anyway, we'll bring it back, you can have a quick look at that, and we'll get back to the other camera. There we go. Right, fine. So, as I say, it's up to you. I'm not overly impressed with for a quick sort of yee-haw type screw to get the job done, yes, you pay quite a bit of money just for a bit of a yee-haw screw. I've showed you and I have tried it in different woods, you've seen it today, this was different wood for the last time. It's still doing basically the same, not as bad admittedly, but as you can see, this is a bit of decking, classed as hardwood here in Britain. <laughs> How they can class it hardwood, I don't know, but they do. And you can see it's not really doing that good. Anyway, that's my up to date on it, not impressed. 